Hi, today we're going to make a photo booth template in Photoshop. What you want to do first is you want to choose a background. If you don't have a background, then you want to go to Google and you want to just type in whatever background you want. We are going to be doing a Christmas one, so I'll put in Xmas backgrounds and hit enter. And we're going to hit images. And you could just go down and you could choose any single one you want. And I'm going to choose this one and click and drag it to the desktop. Let go. Now after that, you're going to want to hit and open up Photoshop. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to open up that old template because that's what you're going to be making this new template out of. You know, double click and there it is. Now, you can see that there's a lot of layers in this one and what we're actually going to do is we're going to get rid of a lot of these layers and stuff like that. I'm just going to click these little eyeballs here to show you that that's what turns on and off the layers. Just delete. So we're going to start all over, delete that, delete that. Delete that, delete that. And now we're just left with two images down at the bottom. That's just to show the client once the template is done what it looks like. And now we're just going to click and drag it, your image that you brought onto your desktop into Photoshop. Now to scale it, you're going to hold Shift and Command on a Mac and you're just going to shift all together. Now what you'll see down in the right hand corner on the picture near your layer button where your layers are, you'll see a little picture on the picture <laughs> and what we're going to do now is we're going to rasterize it. If that little picture is there, that means that we can't work with it, but now that we rasterize the layer, it's gone. So to rasterize, right click and then go to rasterize layer, click that and the little image is gone. You want to stay highlighted on your background image that you're working with and underneath that you want to hold Command and click on the little picture on the layer beneath it and you'll see all those little ants going around. And that's going to bring up these little ants and after that we don't want those little ants going around the top of the border. We just want them going around the, where the pictures are going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the very top. You're going to see select and you're going to hit inverse and make sure that you're on your uh, image that you're going to be using. It's highlighted in your layers panel and hit delete. Now you can see that there's still borders around the picture frames and what we're going to do to make those uh, what we want it to be now is we're going to double click on the image that we're working with and you're going to go to stroke, click stroke and go make that 13 and the little color eyedropper right there you're going to click on that and you're going to choose a color and that's what gives you your borders around the pictures. All right, and then we'll put on the little picture just to see what it looks like, and we're gonna put in some text now. So now you're gonna go over to the left-hand side of the panel, and you're gonna see the little tool that says T, and you click on that, and that is your text tool. Just click anywhere in your image, and you can start typing. Now, as you can see, that the text is actually behind the image that we're working with and we are going to bring that up front. It's behind there because it's below that. So you want to just click and drag that above that layer right there. And then you can continue typing. When you want to change the colors of the text, just highlight it and up at the top, you'll see a little tiny box that looks like it has colors in it and you click on that and there you go. And then you can choose what color you want your font to be. 
And once you're done with your text, you're going to go over to the right hand side and you're going to click on the text layer, which will stop the text tool from being activated. And after that, you're going to go to the left hand side and you're going to go to the very top tool that looks like a little arrow. And once you click that, you're going to be able to move your text around and any other layer around that's highlighted. Now to bring up that little box around that I just did, you're going to hold your command and you're going to push T, which is your transform tool. I'm grabbing them from the sides here. So if you do that, so it stays in scale, hold shift and then move and drag and make whatever shapes. So you'll see so it stays in scale. And after you got the words all in that you want to use, what you're going to do next is you're going to go to that type layer on the right hand side in your, in your layers panel and you're going to right click and you're going to hit duplicate layer. Once you duplicate the layer, it's going to actually be on top of the layer that you were working on. So it's going to be right on top of your words and you're going to go over to the left hand side and you're going to go to the very top tool, which looks like a little arrow and you'll be able to move the next layer to the right. Hold shift while you move it so that it stays in line. And then you could use little arrow keys to move it around to make sure that everything is fine. So then you're going to go up to file, or you're going to go to save as, and you're going to name it. I'm just going to name this whatever you can name it, Xmas background templates or whatever you, you have it on. And then I'm going to save it to the desktop as a Photoshop file. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make sure that the pictures are not in the box so that you can see the little checkered squares. So you want to make it transparent, always remember P and G. So we're going to go up and we're going to save it as P and G. And you're going to click right here and you want to click the first top button and leave the bottom part alone where it says interlace. And that is it. There is your template.